Uh, hello and uh, welcome to the um, World Cup coverage, round six, game of the day. Uh, and the semifinals, of course, are very exciting. And here in this matchup, we'll see Giri, Anish Giri, higher rated than Peter Svidler, uh, a, a great player from the past and is still in it um, to win it. So let's see how Peter Svidler does it on the black side of the rule of Pez. Uh, and uh, let's take a look after these common moves, of course. Uh, I guess the first comment I have would come around here. Peter decides not to go for the martial gambit with d5 and instead plays a long-term positional struggle with d6. Um, of course, Peter has played this many times. In fact, uh, this position was seen at least three times in his games. Uh, knight f1, knight a5, bishop c2, and bishop f6. Uh, rook b1 is um, uh, one of the moves here. Uh, bishop d2 would be another way to play. And uh, after c5, d5, we have this typical setup where Basically, white is going to try to attack on the king side, while black is going to try to get something going on the queen side. That's basically going to be the um, positional framework of this game. Uh, so after knight c4, uh, white plays b3, knight e5, and knight h2. All this has uh, been seen before. And in fact, uh, probably one of the interesting things is that um, the move c4 is uh, suggested by the engines quite uh, affirmatively. But maybe this is where Anish had some um, uh, preparation because after c4, uh, I took a look that white can actually play this position without fear. He just ignores uh, the possibility of winning the pawn with f4 because this would actually be very dangerous after the captures here, knight c5, knight is hitting the, and the um, rook are hitting the pawn. The rook is unprotected and therefore if the queen just protects, it can't really uh, get there. White wins the pawn, black wins the pawn back. So. Uh, White can't win the pawn, so he shouldn't even try. In fact, in this position, he should just continue to uh, improve his position with knight d3. And after knight d3, trying to get at this pawn, white would take, play knight f5. And after knight c5, a very important, I think, move would be bishop a3. Uh, this is, uh, okay, this is one possibility, of course. Uh, the other possibility here is to play knight g4. And I think. Both of these moves give White some interesting chances uh, that I'm sure Anish has investigated and probably a long term uh, found some cool things to do. And uh, it's interesting that uh, after knight h2, black plays uh, simply knight g6. And here, uh, actually, the knight g6 has been played before. Uh, finally, we have uh, a novel idea knight g3 and black plays knight g3 is a new move officially but of course it's a very natural move to play and here uh, Peter plays a very enterprising interesting kind of uh, move bishop c8 basically uh, possibly protecting the square uh, they have five squares so that uh, well when this knight goes to b6 to start the queenside aggression this bishop would be defending against white's um, kingside attack so, um, after bishop c8, uh, I think uh, uh, this position is very, very uh, interesting. It's, I would say, about even chances for both sides. Uh, and let's see how it went. So, white played rook f1, an interesting move, preparing to start the attack um, by removing the rook from the e-file, uh, bolstering up the f1. And knight b6, white plays knight g4. And black simply takes. He just wants to get one knight out of the way so he can start his queen side attack. Pawn takes and h6 again, stopping some dark square aggression by white and knight f5. Um, actually, maybe bishop e3 followed by f3 was a sounder way of, of just slowly building the attack. This way, the queen could go to d2 with this battery and maybe have some ideas how to deal with the queen side. Uh, pawns. But, uh, okay, knight f5 cannot be a bad move. This is just maybe the bishop e3 is a little bit more accurate. Black immediately challenges that knight, and the knight has to leave, because without the knight it's hard to get the breakthrough. And now black starts. Um, first of all, he solidifies some dark squares, and now his plan is a5, a4. Uh, at g3, a5. King g2, a4. 